Welcome back. I'm sure this is, well, okay, this is a new feature that has appeared on Woogles. Uh, that now, instead of just playing against the strongest available bot, you can choose to play any skill level of bot. Uh, and in such a challenge, uh, well, a number of players have fared better or worse against it. Some players have done a gauntlet or a pyramid or something like that. I'm just going to simply seek to defeat all of these bots. And we'll see whether or not I succeed at this. I think maybe, I don't know, after a couple hours or such, I might cut off the run and just kill it. But uh, we'll do the best we can and see how it goes. So without further ado, we're going to play against beginner bot first using the common English lexicon. So that way the bot doesn't have an overwhelming knowledge advantage. I think the beginner bot uses common English anyway, but we'll see how this goes. And with that said, good luck. Uh, oh, I hit the wrong key. My mistake. Yes, yeah, so start splits. Good luck. So... And here I have this re randomizing the tile ordering, although it's easy enough to sort them on this interface. Um, it's also easy enough to shuffle them, so that's pretty great. Double check our overlay, it looks fantastic. So, oh, the other thing is since we're playing with the common English lexicon, uh, this is done with a void challenge rule, and what void means is it is not possible to play illegal moves. So, or illegal plays. So this means I can try out plays at my leisure here. Um, even if I'm not completely sure about what is or is not valid. Now we're playing with the common lexicon, so there's probably not a lot of room for making up fun words. But... Um, we could try various things. Yeah, so here bug uh, plays invalid because ying is not common. Whether or not that's a word in general is immaterial. What matters is if this book contains it as a common word. Um, so, potentially I could play rub here. I have a G. I could, this is building, <laughs> this is terrifically risky because there's a double double lane here. But the challenge is not to, it's not about whether or not um, I beat it every time. What I'm striving to do here is just try to beat each bot once. So as many attempts as it takes. So when other live streamers are trying some other challenge, they're trying something different. Um, and that's fine. And the reason I'm trying the challenge my way is because I, in my many attempts against Hasty Bot, the strongest of these five, I have lost almost every encounter. So, um, yeah. So as such, I'm not going to try to win five in a row. I'm just going to be content defeating all five levels one at a time. While also featuring this live split program, which is open source and fantastic, and I'm encouraging community as a whole to use it. Um, whether they do or not, that's their choice, but it's freely available. Um... So, they say players who shuffle the tiles tend to score better. Um, just because they find better opportunities out of their tiles. Um, like, I see Z-I-N-E. Um, yeah, I think this is the best I see. Just trying to balance what I have left. So this is short for magazine, I believe. Um, 
So we've got matter plus an N. So we have, um, yeah, I don't know that I'm going to find a bingo here. It would be cool if we could, but and perhaps some other day I'll try some other category. Right now I don't have the tag enabled to disable backseating, so if people will just like wander in and give me help. I will be accepting of it because again, my chances of defeating this spot are super low. And I think this is enjoyable as a social activity. Um, oh, so I could play like team here or meet. No, team. Yeah, and this gives me Tran, which is decent. Well, 12 points is not great. Um, I want to score better than 12. Yes, yeah, so like here I could play meat for 18. That's not terrible. Oh, that is clever. The J did not land on the triple, but still, that's pretty nice to get the J out. Um, so it's possible I could lose to beginner bot. I'm not too embarrassed about that. So what do you suppose we do here? Yeah, there's an illegal play somewhere in there. Probably ZA. Oh, actually, so we have B and V. And not a super easy way to play both of these tiles. Yeah, so my best move here would be to resign and start over. But... Um... Yeah, let's play this for a few points. Even though that's not a great move. So, what to do now? Do, is there anything that they know that I could play? Not that I see. I seem to remember Vang is a word. It's not in this book. Um... Yes, this place. Okay, opponent exchanges five. Maybe I should do that more often. Um. Yeah, I mean, what am I going to play here? I could score another ten points. That's not terrible. Is there any better place to put this? Maybe. Um. Oh, I am leading. Wow. Okay, I'm still ahead. How did that happen? I've just been ahead this whole time. Um, that's kind of crazy. I'm not accustomed to that. I'm accustomed to being very heavily down, like every game. So, yeah, there we are, Vista. Um, so we might actually manage to defeat Be Beginner Bot. A, B, L, E is a suffix. <laughs> I 
Oh, we don't have two L's. Um, all right, so, like, oh, what am I doing? Um, but yeah, I came up with this, which is, like, ridiculously invalid, but something ending in able would be fantastic. But, um, no, realistically, we want to play, um, I mean, we could play, like, Axon or something like that. Uh, scores 11, gives us belt left over. I just, how else do we, the X is usually a very high scoring tile. You could play it to very good effect. If you could get anywhere near one of these double or triple squares. I just don't see how to do that here. So we give up the lead in pursuit of trying to get something that's easier to play. Mic check. Yeah, mic's good. Um... Oh, we don't have two T's for tablet. All right. There's a lot of fun words that require another T instead of an L or an E. Um, wonder. So, how do we score some points here? Or maybe, again, like I said, just start over. Wouldn't be the worst thing to do. Okay, this is how we could play some duplicated letters. Another exchange. I'm kind of feeling like exchanging myself too, unless like I could spell something. I mean, we got real. It just does not score anything. Um. There's 25 in the bag, most of which are, are vowels. Um, we're down a lot, and it's only going to worsen from that standpoint. Um, I wonder, could at least mean something, not to this group. Um, all right, so can we score something across here now? I don't think so. Hmm. 14 points. All right. Um, there's no way this is in there. Um, Thirteen. Uh, I don't like that, though. This I can live with. Except it's not a word. Okay. At least it's not a common word, but I don't think it's a word either. I'm kind of fishing at this point. Um, 
Yeah, this way I get like stuck with a zillion vowels. That's the opposite of what I want to do. Um, okay, we are down 50 points. Uh, resign is not... Is it under options? It is. Alright, let's try this again. Um... Yeah, this number four, five, whatever, song. Not in the book. Alright, let's just play this. Uh, okay. This is... I don't know what to do. That really... Oh, okay, so this... We could play down from the B, I suppose. Um... Most likely correct to be to exchange here. Let's exchange this. Yeah. There we go. So now what? Zing? No. I don't know. Zingers. If only... Oh. Well? I mean, that looks like a play. Hang on. If that's valid, how about this? Okay, invalid play. Bigs. Alright, so Bigs itself is... Yeah, being able to see why a play is invalid would probably help. Um, I've got my timer on top of that. Because I really don't have any real... St well, I, on my screen, you, I don't have to see everything. I could actually move the timer right there. Yeah. So zingers, does this go down? Play? Alright, there we go. So I can still see everything I need. Okay. Is... oh, Benzone. I seem to remember... It's like chemical names. Oxyfenbutazone. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot I can do with this as written. Either way, I'm up by 90, which is a lot better than last game. Um, oh, most of that's invalid. O-L-N-E, yeah. Um... Hmm. Club? Invalid? All right. I'll just play glue. Um, I would say a bingo here would be findable, but, um, wait. Ah, come on. All right. That would have been nice. I should have said, like, pretty please or something. If I wanted that to work. Shame on me for not doing that. Um, but yeah, me is... Or B is... Oh, E-M is not in the book. Alright. The letter M. M. It's not a common word. Um, but that's fine. Uh, I suppose... Oh, deaf? Short for, like, definitive. Um, yeah, that's common, but M, the letter M, is not common. People don't know that that's in the book. That sounds right. And by the book there, I mean OSPD-1, the first U.S. Scrabble dictionary. Um, 
So, okay, HM. I wonder if HM could be in there. Uh, all right, HM as well as the other play there was just not in the book. Um, yeah. Well, we are scoring a lot of points this game. And scoring points is what helps you win a game. So we're doing good. We are doing super good. Probably thanks to that one exchange I did. Um, hmm. How many T or five T's remaining? Yeah, it's fine. Gallon? Gallons? Now we already knew from our previous attempt that gallons or that the bigs is not a word at all. But ohms. I oops, uh, I meant how about ohms here? Nope. It's a chant. It's not pluralized in this way. Um C, the modified seventh scale tone degree, is not in the book. Apparently, na is also not in the book. Um, so, yeah, what else is, like, common? Hmm. That's unfortunate. We're doing Axon again. It's 22 points. It's too many to give up. Wait. Uh, there's got to be something. There has to be something. I'm thinking like change log. Uh, Gallon obviously does not have an E. Gallant, uh, but that has two A's, not an E. Yeah, this duplicated L is not so bad. Um, but yeah, I want to like create a setup for my next play. So I'm looking at like glean, but does that fit there? Um, it's hard to find things that fit. Glen. That's a decent balance. It doesn't set up anything up, but it's a decent uh. balance. And it kind of, if here I'm kind of hoping that the bot will set me up so I don't have to create a setup of my own. Um, voila, um, well, even, okay, now if there's going to be a bingo here, and if I'm going to find it, it's going through the E, um, but I don't think I know Ovaltine, Ovaltine's a product name, yeah, um, I mean, I had to try it. <sighs> what else can I try? I mean, voila, viola, and such probably are reasonably good plays here. I don't have to have a perfect play. Um... So, yes, I don't see anything extending from the G here. Um, do I have a preference? No, Viola kind of opens the board more than Voila does. So, we're going to play Viola. 
and tried to hit my own uh, hook here. So now we have indoors. Um, nothing better. I mean, it's still excellent. Um, yeah, nowhere better to put this, right? I don't know why I'm caring about this. The margin of victory doesn't carry over from game to game. So I don't know why I care so much. Uh, force a habit, I suppose. Yes, yeah, so I could play basically anything to win this. Um, sister? Sisteri? I don't know. Sisteric. It'd be cool if we had something like isometric right in the middle there. Um, if only we could fish for isometric. Eh, it's not happening. Um... Okay, I just made that up, and it did not score. Um, oh, taxi and pie. That's not bad. All right. Um, so earlier I was saying sister, but we got sister plus a Y. It's not clear that this leads to anything. Uh, eight tiles in the bag. I could look closely, or I could just play something. Let's just play something. I don't suppose tries this way. Oh, both Scott is a proper thing, so yeah, that's not playable. Uh, yes. Leaving us with stir. Uh, jilters or something. Two in the bag. Again, I don't know why I'm trying to micro-optimize this. I guess it's just to demonstrate my superiority over a beginner bot. To really flex my muscles in a way that's completely unnecessary. I can't help it. <laughs> it's good that I can win a game. Um... Oh, interesting. Alright. Hmm. Also, this gives me a chance to maybe learn a word or two along the way. Um, yeah, so I'll try not to make up too many words, because then I'll never remember any of this. So, like, here I could clearly play Jot. Um, and, I don't know, we've almost got, like, bluish or something, but doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is just completing this with a win. Um. Seep-ish is not a word. Or at least not a common word, but I don't think it's a word. I was just guessing. Okay, bot has an I. Oh, saw is not a word. I knew that. 15 is not terrible. Um... Okay, and we could just play like here. Why am I again optimizing this? I'm curious, is LI in the book? The unit of distance. Is this a common word? It is not. Um what else might be a common word? I mean clearly lip is common. I'm just curious. 
but I don't see anything else worth trying, so let's just do it. Alright. We've defeated um, Beginner Bot, and I guess my splits don't show that. So then we'll go back to the lobby, seek a game against Basic Bot. 30 minutes per player. Here we go. Again, if I fail this, I'm not going back to the beginning. I ain't got time for that. Uh, we got film. Film might... Um, got a lot of interesting letters here. Um, yeah, these are harder to play than the other letters, so let's play these first. Um, ING is nice. Peating does not sound like a word. I'm curious, though. Yeah, both of those words are invalid. Um, hmm. All right, so I thought peat was like a type of soil, but I might be misspelling it. Um... Oh no, alright. Well, could have gone worse. We have ed as a suffix. We've almost got like negated. Uh, except there's not an a. Yeah, I've not balanced my letters well enough. We could spell greed here and hope it doesn't have a y or an s. It always has an s. Um, so spell oh uh, I'm not sure yawn if we had something ending in an N I don't think we do oh fed is probably better but this is not a lot of points um Hmm. <laughs> I mean, greets not well. We'd rather play something involving an ad, but I don't know a common word that fits the bill. There we go. Genie. That fits the bill. The bot scores a lot more what we do. And we live with it. Um, oops. I tried to play Rid. Uh, or Rind. Which is risky because it opens up this S, but we're already down. But it's still way too risky. Uh, we almost got treason or senator, uh, but we're both. Yeah, I don't know. Aortas? That's really sad. Um... I don't think overts is valid. Yeah, over it says invalid. So this aorta thing is not high scoring. Do could be extended to fondue if we had all that, but we don't. Um, yeah, 
Yes, so we have two A's and an O. Yeah, Aor does this fine. We just trust that we get a better draw next time. Just have to get lucky. Um, I don't know what to do with this. Feels like this is the place we gotta place something. Um, do you suppose this is valid? Yeah, it's not. Or these are not common words, but I'm making up stuff trying to find a word. Of course you could spell pies. All right, bet the bot exchanges. So, I don't know, do we spell like jam here for 32? Jam seems a reasonably high scoring play. Um, we've almost got tongue. Um, Tune, tune, and they have probably, well, they might have an S. They probably do. But tune burns up the letters that I want burned. Um, just doesn't score anything. Oh, wait, we, we have a duplicated T as well. So we want to play tune all of our own tiles. Plus, it'd be cool if to, we could build something here. Um, yeah, this is not the right way to use a blank. Um, hmm. Um... Hmm. This is so weird. Yeah, I think tune here is perhaps the best we can do. I forgot about R. Uh, so we're still ahead. Incredibly. Um... Not sure how. Well, the way that we're ahead is that we balance the rack and hope that we get good tiles. And so far that's been working out. Something ending in G that doesn't end in ING is kind of hard. Of course, as soon as I discard the N, we're going to get an I. You just know how that works. Um, but, yeah, maybe I need to exchange again, just because I'm, like, kind of dense. Also, common lexicon is a little bit challenging. Um...
Yeah, exchanging here would not be terrible. It's a waste of time, but, oh. Splits are on top of the window to exchange. Let's fix that. Uh, put the splits back. No, I see. Very clever. Um, A, B, L, E. Dentable. Um, so we're going to do that. Dentable, not playable. Wait. All right. Um, interesting. Guess we don't have a bingo, bingo there. Uh, ED is a suffix. Blanted? Um, I don't know. We've got one vowel. <laughs> we could spell dab. This closes the lane. We're still ahead on the score for at least a fleeting instant. Uh, yeah, so score is even now. Um, hmm. Yeah, we don't have enough vowels to play something. Um. I E R Y. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything there. Oh, we have I E R suffix though. But, yeah, nowhere to play a bingo if there was one. Um, we are down on score because Covert scored a lot of points. Um, also, we're going to be down even more once we find out that, like, there's nowhere to play a word. Um... Oh, wow. That's clever. Yes, yeah, so we are solidly down here. Um, recoil? But with an E? Soil? Over soil? Oh, well, yeah, I guess we don't have over soil. Seer. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Soiree. Um, 12 points. 11 in the bag. This is not a good use of anything. But, hey, we got the cue. We can maybe score some points with the Q. Uh, is that the only place we could score it? I don't know. Is it the best place? Probably. Well, no, we do have, like, quit. Yeah, quit and quota and all that fun stuff. Um, and, like, almost liquid. So we've almost got a lot of things. Um, yeah, 21 or 25 for this. Um, toiletry. <laughs> oh, beautiful. That's delightful. All right. Um, 
Oh, so if we play all the points or all the tiles, we score a bonus. Um, retools. But where would like retools even go? Toolers. I, there's nowhere to put a bingo. It would be great, but um, there's just nowhere for it. Um, yeah, the score is 19 if it's valid, and the opponents can score a lot. Um, Okay, J O is not a common word. Yeah, squiz. Squib with the B might be a word. Squiz definitely not in there. Um Trick. There we go. Yeah, it's no fun of any kind. Um, oh, it didn't go out in one. I have another play. If I score like 10 points, where do you actually take this? Well, that's weird. Um, let's not blow this. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, Oleo for 8, 254, it has the K, the number on a K. Crap, what's the number on the K tile? <laughs> uh, I mean, I think Oleo is spelled with an I anyway, but... Wow, this is a learning experience. Surely we can do better anyway. But, oh, jeez. I never thought it would come down to, like, having to know that sort of stuff. Um... I mean, what else can we do? I think the K is a 5, so we're very much in the clear if we do this. But yeah, it requires an I. Um, okay. <sighs> okay. I mean, I knew it was a tough board, I just didn't think it was that tough that the bot would fail to find an outplay. So this is six points. So if the K is at least a three, then we win. But I don't think this is valid. Yeah, it's not. Um... We might have done a K stick. If OK is not valid, but I thought OK. I've tried OK in a different game. OK was not in the book. See, so yeah, if I were to try to do like a K stick with this and then play the E on another turn, fine. But that assumes that there, well, I have a valid K stick, and I don't think, I don't know that I do. Um, hmm. But yeah, any outplay here would do it. Well, I say any outplay. 
I don't really mean that. Um, oh, I'm remembering one of my opponent's names from a different board game. That's where that idea came from. Came from. Uh, this is 16 points, but DE is not in this book. Um, yeah. Uh, EE is not in this book. Um, OE is not in the book. Well, I just don't see a place, so we're going to try this. Okay, it has to pass. And then we just play like a re, do, re, mi. And we've done a K stick. I guess that's the best we score here. And I win by a few. Nice. Alright, so next up is Intermediate. So this is going to get progressively more challenging. And I'm gradually just going to lose my mind trying to play this stuff. But that's the fun of the challenge. Um. Alright. Did not expect that. So we get like Homeric or something. Uh, Homer? Home. Home leaving option of Homer. Uh, I don't know that I like this because an E in a double double lane is risky. But I live for the variance. So ERS is a nice suffix. Um. Yeah, ASE is a nice thing. Is that how I'd want to play this? Um, I kind of wish there was something like rosy with this weird spelling. Um... I don't think there's anything like that here. Yeah. Okay, we were making up words and getting nowhere. It's perhaps back to where we started here. Where I was suggesting just simply your. Okay. If only we had an F hooked on phonics, that would be great. Um, okay, vests. It's like almost cravats or something. Um. <laughs> Well, that ass is not a word. Uh, save is a word. Stave is a word. Staves is a word. But... Well... S's are meant to score points. But using both of them in this, like, manner seems irresponsible. Um... Base, van... Van seems nice. 14. 
<clears throat> something like our stave. Just like I was talking about right there. 35. Yours. All right. Does not accept a plural form. Uh, we knew that. Ava, no, Ave. Ave is not in the book. It's not a common word. So back to Van. It's a nice safe play. Um, is uke for ukulele in the book, I wonder? Uke ain't in the book. All right. Starting to see why people use other dictionaries. It's kind of challenging. It's worth the challenge to learn the other dictionaries, is what I'm trying to say. Um, hmm. <laughs> How great would it be if this were somehow in there? Yoret. Nope. Um, I mean, I know uses is in the book, but that's burning both S's. Um... Oh, we have an S. So we could play Seek here. And try to score again with the other S. Uh, bothers. Uh, must have got better, but good luck for me finding something better. Um, yeah, we are doing awesomely. We have a commanding lead in this closed board. So... Just need to enjoy it a bit. AR invalid. Alright. Oh, we have another S. <laughs> Well, we got to enjoy that, too. Um, didn't expect it to come so quickly here. But since our opponent might have an S, we have to, like, plan for that. Um, So this plans for it. Um, and just not do anything terrifically stupid here. Exchanging might be best, given the dictionary we're playing with and our non-knowledge of the opponent's rack. Yeah, let's exchange. Um, move the split window. Keep EN. Put the split window back. Alright. My overlay still looks fine, right? Yeah, I assume so. Um Alright, we've almost got like insider. Oh, I was thinking of playing a WUD last turn, thinking that that might be in this book. I think we know by now it's not. Um, that's nine points. It's not worth it. 
Do I want to have an N or an R here? Looking at the tile count, they're more likely to draw an N than to draw an R. So we'll play it this way. Um, oh, well, shit. S H I T. We are up by eight, but. That might not last for very long. Um, hmm. Do you suppose there's anything like bilap or something? Wouldn't that be nice? Pillage. Yeah, it requires another L. Um, All right, Bing is not bad. It gets rid of the G. Do I want to have the P or the B here? Do I suck more at finding words without a B or a P? Because they swear about the same, and there's not... Um... Yeah, I'm bad at... I'm bad at both, honestly. But um, given what's... Uh, I don't know. Oh, Bing is not in the book. That is so weird. Um, well, we got the Z. So we can rejoice for that. Um... Twenty four of that's in here, which I don't think it is. I just need to know if this is in the book. I just need to. It's not in this book. All right. Um, Seventeen for this. Burns up the LA. We might need LA in just a second here. Um. Hmm. Zeal. Uh, again, this burns the LA. Yeah. For slightly more points. Now this is not bad, actually. This. Oh, a blaze! Well, damn. Nicely spotted. Right. Opponent has seven tiles. We got seven tiles. I don't have a bingo here. Um. So. You could spell like hokum for eighteen. Kind of like just how that feels, but it's probably dumb. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You almost have like haunt, except not really. Um.
Yeah, so we need to score a lot of points because um, yeah, the bot's going to score something there. So we are solidly down, and even if we go out, we still need to score a lot to win this. Alternatively, we lose. Which is maybe fine. Alright, we lose against BetterBot. I'm going to rematch. So I mentioned I was not going to start over the challenge if I fail. Because these things are so difficult to defeat in the first place for me, anyway. Um, um, oh. Okay, well that's goofy. But it opens the board, which might help me in the long run. It's more likely to help the bot, honestly, but let's just pretend for a minute. Um. <laughs> I don't have a vowel. Um. I do not have a vowel. Okay, now I've played my W, so it goes up there. It's just... It doesn't even consider factors like that. But it would be funny if it did. Um, oh, wow. Well, that's cool. Yes, I'm just living for the margin here. I don't care about losses. Um, oh, QIT is not in the book. In my opinion, nor should it be, but I just didn't know. Um, shouldn't be in the common English lexicon anyway. I'm too stubborn to exchange the queue. Um, but it looks kind of hard to play. We're down 40 points. Um, Yeah, so I don't know how to play this cue. Oh, uh, I was thinking of spelling fist. Um, yeah, fees not valid. Um, I could bank on that spot being open another turn, but it probably won't be. Um, let's score some points. 
Alright. Loners. Score some points. Um, oh, all right. Not sure why I thought that was the word. I was pretty sure it was. Um, How about want? So we've leveled the score with this effort. Um, wait, we don't have basic. We are one off of basic. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, interesting. Yeah, CU is not, or all right, quib, which I've claimed before. Squib is a word, I thought. Um, quick requires the K. Um, yeah, if we had a T, we could spell quit, but we don't. It would not score much anyway. Wait, why am I playing it there? Uh, yeah, this is more logical blocking spot. I wanted to play the other place to keep this bottom space open so I could score more later. But that's too much to bank on. Um, no, we need to play some of our duplicated tiles. I say as I, like, play this for 11 again. Um, yeah, no, I'm just kind of checked out at this point. Um... Yeah, we have lost. All right, let's concede this. Uh, am I sure? Yes. Yeah, I have to zoom in because um, my splits again are layered on top of my screen. Um. Oh, weird. What do I do here? don't know. Sure. Sure and cock. All right. Tune. Um... Route. Route accepts some fun opening or front hooks. Um, dot. Dono. Donor. Chord. All right. Um, 
So et is not in the book. Past form of eat. Um, hmm. Yeah, cock is a nice find. All right, this is terrible. I'm doing it. Rook extends to rook e. Um, yeah, I've misplayed that because this open R is so stupid. But the bot didn't avail itself of this opportunity, so... Yeah, I'm just trying to open the board a little bit. Finding words is hard enough on an open board. You don't really seek to close it. We already saw that JA is not in the book, so why did I think JAS might be? I don't know. Um, all it takes is one. All it takes is one of those to be valid, and we're good. Um... Oh, Mojo. Mojo could be interesting. Assisted. Damn. It drew three S's, and to play that... Uh, we got the other S, though. So that's the only bit of good news there. Um... Dang. You don't see that every day. Usually players come up with better ways to spend their tiles. Um, So we have a nice S hook here. Uh, if we can keep things open. Which I don't know if we can. Alright, so... It's gotta be a big up here, right? Like vanish, harvest, something. Yeah, we're just barely off having a bingo. That's. Yeah, I don't think I have a bingo here. At least, maybe not in this book. Seventh. Uh. <laughs> is this the right place to put it? Well, first of all, spings is not a word, right? Yeah, spings is invalid. So, seventh seems like it's got to go here. Manas is invalid. All right. All right. This is the place I was saying was open. <sighs> Let's calm down. <laughs> uh, why am I so uptight? It's because I suck at this game and I'm excited at the possibility of not sucking. Um, yeah. I think that's about what that comes down to. Um, so I've pulled ahead here.
Uh, the imagination is never at a loss. Goth. All right. I seem to remember this is playable. It's not. Um, a pro would be valid, though. All right. Well, we should just block this space because we're ahead. And there are three U's unseen. But blocking it, like, there's so much better I could do than blocking it. But if it bingos here, I will regret that. So we need to block it. And I don't see... Oh, IT, that's fine. Um, I mean, it'd be great to stick out another vowel if we could, but... Um, yeah, we'll just block this this way. We got piezo. Which, any bets on whether that's a common word? Um, I wonder. No! <laughs> it's Italian. Oh, no. <laughs> I had a children's electronics assembly kit of some sort. And they showed you the piezo, and had you like tap on it to make electric current, but nope, no such piezo today. Well, that's too bad. Uh, we could still spell like zap or something. We could find a space for it. I mean, this... I got five vowels if I do this. I don't like that. But where else could I possibly play? We had a T we could spell dits. Which may or may not be in the book. Um... A zoo. Here we go. There, we actually have some consonants now. There's an unseen blank. And there's two R's unaccounted for. Um, hmm. Veep. Nope. Um... Do you suppose... Oh, L-E is not a word. I was going to say ply there, but no. Um, I mean, lie here could be spelled like this. Um, pale could be spelled like that. Uh... Yeah, so it scores a few points, but not a whole lot. We've drawn two U's, and with nine in the bag, we could exchange, um, rather than try to play this out. I could exchange rather than attempt to play this with the U's. Um, I mean, given my word knowledge, it's probably not a dumb idea. So let's move the split window, exchange these things that I don't like so much. 
I forgot to count how many E's. Oh, here they are. Um, maybe a full exchange is best. Okay, let's do it. Um, so now we're up by two. Something starting with an R, or something starting with a D. And what do we want to play? Oops. Riled. Um, Riblet. Okay, Riblet, not a word. But riled is definitely a word. It just leaves me with BT, and I'm not sure. Where... Well, BT could go with bet somewhere. I see one space I could play that, but uh, foe. All right, so opponent has six tiles. Again, we've got Ivy. Um, I don't think she is in the book. It is. Legume. All right, we're up. So if we can play tube somewhere, go out and we win. Is tube even playable? Nope. Uh, tube is not playable. We're still not doing terribly. Oh. Uh, Butte takes two T's, but it's not terrible. I just play my E anywhere to win this. I mean, sure. L, the letter L is not in the common word list. Uh, U? U is in the list. All right. Next up, expert. All right, we are going to get dunked on. Possibly at this point, if I lose a game, I might abandon ship. Yeah, Ivy probably not good to keep. You're not wrong. We're playing the common word list here. And also, I'm perhaps... I don't know. Perhaps not completely um, aware of everything that's going on. Hmm... So, yeah, this could be difficult and getting more and more difficult. Um, so, ED would be a nice suffix. I want to play like custard or something. ARD, but. Um, I mean, dark here is stupid. Well, it's most stupid because it leaves the C. Uh, yeah, so we don't want to do that. Um, so I want to play the U, because we just watched the Better Know a Letter and found out how great a letter U is to get played right away and not leave in your rack. Um... Oh, actually, that's better than I was thinking to do a typo. Saucered. No, sauced might be in here. Oh, Kava. Kava doesn't take an S. All right. It wouldn't surprise me if it took like an L or something. I don't know what Kava is, and I'm not going to find out right now. Uh, cowbell. All right, so yeah, there's not a lot I can do with that. Uh, yeah, it's just whatever Kava is cannot be inflected all these various ways. Um. Uh, 
whatever. This is not smart. Um, yeah. CEL highly recommended. Yeah, I was impressed the other day I actually beat the bot. Hasty bot, that is. Um, and suddenly uh, my misgivings about CEL are all, like, I'm not even worried about it anymore. Uh, this is a terrible move, but we're already down 30 points. So, how bad can it be? I just need to keep the board open and pray for a miracle. Um, oh, Samba doesn't inflect with an S. All right. I mean, not that I was attached to pawns anyway. I was playing that to block and to score some points. But we don't have to worry about that. Then we don't have to worry about that. Um, Sixty six points with the Q. All right, we've almost tied it up. If there were an open D, we could do tripped, but I guess here we just have like tripe, um, or like tipper, um, it's not smart, but. Oh, Nymph, wow. All right, I forgot, we're playing against like the expert bot. So it's gonna find some good words even with CEL. This could be rough. So we're not down that much. Um, still not down that much. Defile. Belay. Um, but, well, I'd like to play defile, but I don't see an, a lane for it. Um, so def so defile X's, yeah, defy, nope, def, oh, def, all right, as in definitely is in the book. But this leaves us with some interesting letters. Um, the other thing that seems to work well for me is exchanging. Like, often that ends up being such strength to my rack. Um, even when it's, like, completely uncalled for, it's just, like, I am bad at finding words, so exchanging can make that process a lot easier. Of course, here we got three I's, or three E's, two I's, two L's. So unless, like, Lele or something is a word, this is probably a very good time to exchange. Um, yeah. 
I mean, like, I don't know if this is even a word, even if it is, this is setting up too much. But all the highest scoring tiles are gone, but this is only 12 points. It's not going to be in the book anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, we still have too many repeated letters at this point. Um, so this is a good time to exchange. And given how many vowels are in the bag, I should probably just keep L. Okay, we're going to move my split window off to the corner. There we go. Move it back. Tireless. Oh, well. That's impressive. It also means you got another S there. <laughs> Did it draw all four? It, yeah, it drew all four S's. That's okay. Um, yeah, defs and CEL, as you say. <sighs> um, work. Definitely not how you spell work. Uh, wart. Um, now I want to put the W or something below the R, but uh, I don't think that's going to work. Like, we don't have trow because this is the other way around. Yeah, so wart for 24, it's okay. Um, oh, jeez. That is powerful. I was thinking about Clown here, uh, which doesn't score anything, honestly, now that I look at it. Um, Clow is a name from an anime series as opposed to a thing. Um, WY is not a word. WO is not a word. There were an S, this could be kind of fun. There's no uh -huh. S, so yeah, we just lose this by a lot. Uh, we almost have like lookout or something, but nope, not gonna happen. Let's try again. Uh, I got my split window in the way, so I have to resume that. Yeah, let's rematch. All right, so I've got the queue. And no you. So we exchange the queue. <laughs> um, seems like kind of a no-brainer. Move my splits into the upper right. Although this will prevent me from seeing which parts of my plays are invalid when I make an invalid play. As I often do. Okay. I don't feel like playing this one out. Let's try again. Um, like, we've got fluorite minus the F. Um, got turmoil. No, that's not how you spell turmoil. It, oh, it is. Trialed. Um, all right, it's got a 50 point lead. I don't feel like playing that out. Here we go. Um,
bison? I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, that could have been worse. Uh, oh, I missed Outlier. Oh, goodness. Yeah, like I said, that, well, that is findable. If I look for an out suffix, and then I try to think of that as a prefix, I might have been able to find it. That's barely, maybe, in my range. Probably not, but... Um, yeah. But yeah, I was watching... Uh, what was it? That Word Wars Challenge 2? Whatever the name of that MCI event was. So, like, my brain is already fried going into this. But I thought it'd be fun to give this a try before everybody else gives it a try. Um, other people are doing this, like, pyramid sort of thing where if you drop a game you have to go back and face the beginner and i'm saying no 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 none of that um i have like no chance so we're just gonna take it um we're just gonna worry about defeating all the bots but also i'm probably not gonna succeed in beating hasty bot again because it's actually pretty difficult Beat. All right, so yeah, we know the gin's invalid here, but um, when that pops up, um, oh, gin itself is not in here. I guess that makes sense. So, yeah. Oh, hap is also not common. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I so said around the two hour mark I might give up on this challenge. Because it's actually kind of difficult. Uh... Oh, poise is not valid. I thought poi... No, I'm thinking koi. K-O-I is the fish. I don't know what P-O-I is. Maybe a point of interest. Um... Alright, well, let's place some tiles. Alright, oh my god. So, like... With ED, there's got to be a some something. Rails, something ED, EDS. Ordinals. Um, Nailed, but that doesn't use the R. Um, yeah, I have no idea. At this point, all this is going to do is succeed in embarrassing me. Um, oh, jail is points. You can take points. Um, do you suppose crud is in here? It is. 
Steve odd exchanges. Now how about tweens or wettens or something? Wettens is probably okay. Nope. Well, it's definitely not common, but I'd like to imagine that sometimes my words are valid when they're clearly not. Um, Oh, poi is Hawaiian food. Oh, that sounds delightful. Ah, uh, so, so, so. Oops. This is what, was, what I've been trying to type here. Um... I want to play off a T. It'd be nice to play a T. I just don't see a place to put a T with all this stuff. Oh no. Really? I mean, thankfully, there's. Okay, the Q scored twice. That stings. Um, we're still ahead. This could have been a lot worse. Uh, tenths or something. Uh, but it doesn't even play anywhere. Uh, I don't... Well... What do we play? Just play UH, which leaves us in very much the same shape for next turn. But also blocks. Well, it doesn't even block QU plays across. It increases the value of a QU play across. I want to fish for a U, but. No, we don't even play across. We need like Quay or something, if it's even in this book. So, what can we do? Um, We could spell like these somewhere, but we can't. Um, we don't have to play the S. Then is fine. Seven points. It's not delightful, but could be doing so much worse. We're down by 13. Um, we drew another E. Let's see if we play like X and X for 18. Assuming this is even playable. Um, I don't see other places to dump the X. Only quad, que, quip. Quid, quip. Yeah. Yeah, you did mention this the other day, and I could not remember it right now. So, it'd be awesome. Like, Orients? Is this common? Um, it is. Alright. Take that, Stebot. Um,. So yeah, quit is something that's well within my range. I didn't need that clue here. Um, so I'm going to say that I came up with that. Um, whether or not I had the D last turn in quid, I don't remember, but still. I can take credit for quit. Um.
So I think Pete is a word. It's not. Um, feet is definitely a word. Um, yeah, I don't see better. Oh my goodness. Stebot is great. I just wish there were a bot that were ever so slightly easier. Something where I could... Like, I know there is an intermediate bot. Maybe I am talking about the intermediate bot. I'll have to try playing it again sometime. Um, maybe my opinion will change. Because I like that this provides a challenge, but it's a bit too much. And somehow I felt not the same way about intermediate bot. I don't know. I'm being crazy. I really am. Um, so I'll think more about this and see if I can collect my thoughts in a more rational manner. Um, like here, the bot is not deliberately giving me spots. I had to create this and it just didn't take the feet spot. Uh, I felt like Intermediate Bot was giving me spots at times. Well, no, just the once. Still, it's a bit degrading to lose to a bot that just throws the game deliberately. Um, so I guess that's the feeling I had. There's no E in the bag. There's four tiles left in the bag, but E is not one of them. So if I'm trying to play Def down here with the E... Um, well, I can't really bank on that, especially if I'm going to play V here for 14. Um, ED is a nice suffix. What to do? I mean, yeah, I'm winning this. I just don't want to throw it. Um, I mean, V probably wins. Veed is even better, leaving one in the bag. I don't have to worry about this D, which I can't figure out how to play anyway. Some of the things in the bag scare me, but most of this should be okay. Oh, Veed is not in there. Okay. Interesting. Um... I mean, Eve might be playable, but I really wanted to play off the V. Oh, crap. <laughs> No! Okay, we lose the game. That was pretty funny, though. Nicely done, Stebot. Alright, well, I mentioned around the two-hour mark I might give up in the challenge. Uh, how about A marginal? AM marginal? Come on! <sighs> Oh, that is too good. Oh, no. Well, this is why it's an expert. Uh, all right. Hmm. Yeah, there's probably no coming back from this. Oh, I won the game somehow. All right, the challenge goes on. <sighs> Jeez.
Jesus. All right, here we go. Hasty bot, you're next. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, how do I do this? Uh, all right. Uh, I can't think anymore. This is too much. Uh, I've got like apricot or something. Oh man. We've almost got like biotic or idiot. We've got dab. I guess we play dab. We got the Woogle special, the triple O. Alright, we got Meow. Um, unless, like, we got something better, but this uses an M and a W and an E. Yeah, that's fine. Um... I guess I retract my negative comments about Stebot. Stebot's all right. Ah, oh, Jesus! I'm making up words at this point because my brain is completely fried. Um. Chi, the Greek letter. Yeah, the Greek letter Chi is in the book. Whatever. Um, so we are up by seven against Tasty Bot somehow. This is the joy with just playing with CEL, is that anything is possible against a bot that doesn't play defense. Uh, EST is nice. Fate-est. Um, if a bot played defense, we would be so toast. Um, but it doesn't. Okay, rate-fest? I don't know. Ratifest? No. <laughs> EST is still a great suffix. Um, Trafe set? No, there's just nothing, no common word like that. Eighteen points. Oh wait, facet. We have an S. Hasty bot always has an S, but what can you do? We drew two U's. This would be an excellent opportunity to demonstrate our non-working knowledge of high U plays. Um. Two two. <laughs> All right, eight points. Totally not worth it. Terrible idea, but the leave isn't bad. Um, the leave is not terrible. All right. Uh oh, it played the cue on just a regular square. So we live another day. Um, all right, so now what? Uh, 
It almost got like heresy or something like that. I mean, E could go here. Ire? Ires? I don't know. It's not a word. Ions? No. I mean, I is a word. I is definitely a word. But is that what we want to do? I think so. While we wait for something to open on this freaking board. Um... I guess it's fine. Something did not open up, and we are losing. And we need to open the board slightly. Um, GIF? As in, in a jiffy? Probably not valid. Nope. Jam? If we had a B, nobody's got a B, but it, it's a bit alarming that there are two blanks unseen. And you know what's going to happen. You know who's going to... Well, I say that, and then I don't have a valid play here. So it behooves me to exchange tiles. So we are going fishing, guys. We're going to exchange everything other than the S... Um, yeah, again, uh, resizing the window because my splits are uh, in front of the window. Alright, so there goes one of the blanks. We've got, like, grazes. Um, Wait, 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 wait. I just said we had grazes. Hey, guess who got the other blank? And there's no S... Oh, wow. We got some awesome tiles. Now I just have 22 minutes to not fuck this up. Oh my gosh. Alright. So... I mean, tax seems like the most obvious play. Even though it allows taxi, I get double points on tax. Um, stupid would be putting tax over here. <laughs> that would be a mistake. Uh, ticks over here might be playable. Uh... Wait, we have blank N, and then there's a G. So I could just play, like, taxing. And just try to draw down the bag. Yeah. 21 points. 9 tiles in bag. Pray that it doesn't get a bingo. That's the problem here. So there's no need to panic. This is the safer play, blocking much of the board, trying to take the G for ourselves. I My brain is fried. There's an one I and three N's unseen. Still, the possibility of an eight-letter bingo hitting the G here is not that great with the common English lexicon. It could be done, but if it's done, well, I deserve to lose it then. Yeah, so now we have the NG suffix, uh, five in the bag. Probably have other suffixes here too, to be honest. Um... But yeah, we're up by 17. T. 
T-I-N-G. <sighs> I mean, this is not a word, right? No. Also, ting. I don't know. Um, tang itself is a word, just blocking the spot. Six points is really sad. We don't want six points. Um, I mean, Tang blocks a lot of spots here and does guarantee me at least one more turn. And my brain, I don't know if I can handle figuring everything else out. Yeah, so this is fine. There's one tile in the bag. We've almost got in rolls. Um... But no. Where would in rolls even go on this board? I don't know. J I F F is in. Yeah, uh, sorry, I was not taking advice. Um, that's kind of funny though. I kind of hoping to win this last one on my own, or more likely lose it on my own. Oh, non something, non slur. Um, Onslur probably doesn't work here anywhere. Um, oh, Nonslurs. Nope. All right. That would have been cool. That would have been too cool. Um, So I think the other, well, when we were doing Blitz Champs, I played Phlox against some expert. Um, I don't know if it's going to be in this book. Um, but I might, if it's in this book, I could play it again, maybe. Um. <sighs> I want to score points and also not throw the game. And these goals seem at odds with each other. Rolls, R-O-L-Z. Oh, come on. Lures. Lulls. When are we going to see these more fun words show up in the dictionary? My problem is I don't know, I have only the faintest clue what it could score here. Only the faintest clue. I think this sufficiently blocks the board. So we're down by one. Um, so this would score 18. Could the bot possibly score 16 or something? Or it would need like 14 to win this. 
I wonder. I wonder how much the bot could score with these tiles in the common English lexicon. I think I'm okay. I'm not finding anything better as I try to find other plays. We've got 15 minutes to think about this. Um... Yeah, I, this is too tense. I don't want to think, I just want to play it. Um, I really just want to play it. And I keep looking for more and more places to put things. This board is just, it feels very locked up to me. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything better. I'm going to submit this, even if it might lose. All right, I win the challenge. Two hours, 11 minutes, 13 seconds. Now, this challenge was simply to defeat all the bots. This challenge does not include going back to the beginning every time you drop a game. I did drop several games in this series. I'm just glad to have defeated... Hasty bot at all. Um, I mean, look at the player ratings. You see my rating, 1159. With a question mark, meaning it's like provisional. Hasty bot, which we saw was selected as the master, um, has a rating of 1552. Even for the common English lexicon, that's its rating. So it's a very strong bot. Um, but yeah, my goal is just to win at least once against every bot. And we seem to have done that today. Much to my surprise. I started off the segment saying I'm probably going to give up after two hours. We just barely squeaked a win by um, Steebot. And here, again, we just barely squeaked by against Hastybot. So this is a doable challenge um, for all amateur players um would i recommend it to everybody it depends how much free time you have but maybe even if you can't do it in one sitting it might be a good exercise just to find out like what is your word finding ability what is your board vision like really the best thing would be to go and review the games afterward which uh it's, I don't know, I'm a bit tired at this point. But, yeah, reviewing your games afterward would gives you kind of insights about the sorts of words that you tend to miss, the sorts of areas on the board that score a lot of points that you might miss often, um, or even prioritizing which letters you choose to keep on your rack. These sorts of things, too, can matter. So... Um, yeah, looking at the very end here, I wonder maybe I had a five-letter thing ending in S here that would have scored easily more than uh, the 18 I got on rounds. I don't know. My math is quite fragile. Um, but I just kind of play it by ear, see how we score. But yeah, if you could play something in parallel... So like if you could build one word this way, another word a different way, you tend to score a lot more points in that kind of way. It's just harder to build in general. So, yeah, hope we all enjoyed this.